Manifest With Me, June 2021 Monthly Business Planning and Goal Setting. See how I plan my business manifestations each month. You can also plan your business success next month with me at the same time. Every month I take an hour or two to plan my business success manifestations for the following month. This time is well worth the investment. As I always say, there's no point in working until you know what you're working towards. Planning my manifestations is my secret weapon when it comes to rapidly growing my business every month. All planning is, is just making a decision. It's just simply deciding what you want. Manifestation always starts with deciding what you want. If you don't decide what you want, things will never improve for you. And here's what I always say about planning. When you plan successful actions, you action your plan and become successful. The more detailed your plan, the more committed you feel. The more committed you feel, the more you will achieve. So I would like to encourage you to take some time to go through my manifestation planning process with me now and make success a priority in your business and just pause the content after I have asked each question and you can make notes in your own journal. Today you will discover how to plan the manifestations of business success next month, how to create a success action plan that is exactly right for you and how to set monthly goals that you will actually achieve. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less Manifest More movement and I would love to know what you are planning to manifest next month. So let me know by leaving a comment on my blog, YouTube channel or sending me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle and I can't wait to hear from you. So let's look at my monthly stamp planning overview. I call my process my monthly stamp planning process because my goal setting framework is called stamp and this planning process is something that I share in detail in my book called Stamp Goals and you can get my complete monthly stamp planning checklist and a workbook as part of the book bonus bundle when you buy a copy of Stamp Goals and you can find that on Amazon. But don't worry if you don't have my book yet, you'll still be able to use the following process that I'm about to share to plan your own business right now. And there are 10 sections to my monthly stamp planning process. So here is a quick overview before I walk you through each step in detail. One, ask questions. Two, set gratitude goals. Three, set giving goals. Four, set growing goals. Five, write new brain stamps. Six, plan promotions and launches. Seven, write a stamp statement. Eight, create a stamp plan. 9. Perform monthly manifestation rituals and 10. Create new future overviews. And now I'm going to walk you through each point in detail and share my own plans that I have created for next month. This stamp planning process should be done at least one month in advance. So what I do is I allocate the last working day of every month to planning my business for the following month. And that way I always go into a new month feeling organized, totally in control, full of clarity and confidence because I know exactly what I'm focusing on for the entire month. Now, I have created a blog post that goes along with this content piece and in this blog post, you will find full descriptions on each of the sections that I am going to walk you through now. So I'm not going to go through all of the sections in detail because this will get very repetitive if you are listening to this uh, repetitive content every single month and doing the planning process with me every month. So I'm just going to very briefly describe each section and if you still are not sure go to the blog post and have a look. So the first section is ask questions, A-S-K. So we start the planning process by tapping into our future self and ask questions about how the next month should play out in an ideal world. And these are just questions that you are asking to a higher power. It's like a prayer to request help for our manifestations. ASK stands for Ask Supernatural Knowledge and it helps us to tap into divine in infinite intelligence. So ask some questions such as the ones 
that I'm just about to read out to you to help you decide what to do next month to reach your goals. What does my future self do? What did I create? What did I promote and how much did I make? So all you're doing is asking the questions. You're not answering them right now until we get to the next sections. So section number two is set gratitude goals. Gratitude goals are revenue and income goals. They are goals that we can't control, but we get to be grateful for. So what you need to do is decide how much money you want your business to make next month. And I also have um, ways of breaking this down that I go into in the blog post. But just for now, write down the goal of the revenue that you want to make next month. And I personally don't share my exact monthly revenue goals before I achieve them because that would put a lot of pressure on me, but I do share my very long-term goals. So the short-term goals I call manageable goals and the long-term goals I call mammoth goals. And these, the mammoth goals are annual goals, five-year goals, 10-year goals, etc. And my gratitude goal for the next year is to get my new brand Kath Kyle revenue up to six figures and then I intend to take it all the way to several million per year within five years and I feel really comfortable with these goals and I already feel like I'm working at the million dollar level so I am convinced that this will happen. So now you, what you need to do is decide how much of that revenue you'd like to keep as a profit because there's no point in making a lot of revenue if you don't get to keep it or worse if you've already spent more than you've actually taken in. So this month I have set 66% as a profit as I know what my expenses are likely to be so this figure is realistic for me. In the blog post as well I also give you a strategy to allocate your business revenue to different areas so that you can grow your business, save money, invest it in lots of different things. Then what you need to do is decide how much income you want to personally make next month. And it's good to remember that your personal income needs to be separate from what the business makes. The business is its own separate entity. It's not you and your money is not the business's money. So you won't be able to keep all of the business's money. You will be able to pay yourself a certain percentage of it, like in a salary, but your business needs its own source of revenue to grow and thrive and pay for expenses. So also another reminder is that you can actually make income that doesn't come from your business. And this will be obvious to you if you have a job, but for full-time entrepreneurs, this is not quite so obvious that you can actually manifest money that doesn't come from your business. So what I like to do is I like to write down how much money I want to manifest personally. And I'm open to any form of that money appearing, whether it's been a gift, whether it's been a winning, whether that's been a rebate, um, whatever, or, or a different form of income stream. I don't mind whatever way that wants to show up or through my business, through paying myself a salary or through dividends. There are so many different ways that we can make in in personal income, which doesn't need to um, necessarily come from our business. It can do, but we don't need to. So this month I am manifesting some money, quite a lot of money actually, for house renovations because we are renovating the garden, we're flooring the loft, we're buying new furniture and a whole lot more and we are spending money like crazy on our new house. And our new house is looking beautiful, but as anyone knows when they move house, there is always so much more that needs to be done. Next section, set giving goals. Now we're going to move on to setting giving goals and giving goals are focused on what you are going to offer in return for money. What are you going to create or what are you going to offer for your customers next month? So what are you going to create next month? How can you help your customers in the best way and who are you creating this for? My own giving goal is to create the main section of my next signature course, 
which is on the topic of business manifestation. And I am so excited about this. I have so many ideas that I want to put into this course and I've been manifesting business success for such a long time that I have so much to share. So I'm sure I'll enjoy creating every aspect of this course. And I've already created both of the bonuses. So the main teaching is the last part of the course to complete before the whole course is finished. So I'm really excited about that. I'm sure that it's going to help so many people. And at this point, it's also a good idea to brainstorm some names for some new products as well. And if you've already created all of the offers that you want for your business right now, a good giving goal would be to improve the products or services that you already offer and try and get some more feedback and learn how you could take your offer to the next level. Another giving goal is I am also going to create two content pieces every week as normal. Four, set growing goals. Now let's set our growing goals. So growing goals are focused on how we feel and think about ourselves and our businesses. And you should set growing goals that focus on removing beliefs that are keeping you stuck or stepping into a more successful version of yourself. And I'm going to walk you through this process now and share my own answers to each question with you now. What is holding you back from success? Why don't you have what it takes to succeed? This month, I am feeling like I am not reaching enough people with my Kath Kyle brand, and this is holding me back from success. I feel like my email list is not big enough or does not have most of the types of people on it who would be interested in buying my products. What are the effects of thinking this way? The effects of thinking this way is that I will always be struggling with feeling like my audience isn't big enough and that I can't be successful until I've reached the next milestone. Are there any advantages of thinking this way? The advantages of feeling like I don't yet have the audience I need is that it may stop me showing up with as much passion if I feel that nobody is listening to me. So what are the disadvantages of thinking this way? The disadvantages of feeling like I don't have a big enough audience is that I don't appreciate the audience that I currently have. If I sell one product and reach one person, I may not be grateful for them if I'm currently feeling like reaching that person is not good enough. So is this disbelief true and what proof do you have? Although it is true that most people would say that I have a very small audience right now and that my email list is on the small side, I also have seen evidence that people can make a lot of money with a very small list and a very small audience. So the size of my audience does not need to hold me back from having success right now. Saying that, I plan to appreciate the audience I do have while always looking to reach new people to help in the future. This is the paradox of gratitude and desires. We need to be grateful for what we have right now and at the same time as desiring more. And it can be tricky to balance both of these feelings as we can often flit back and forth from one belief to another. So the next step is to let go of your disbelief. Can you release your disbelief now? What I like to do is stamp out my disbelief by writing it down on a piece of paper and put it in my stamp box, which is a box created specifically for this purpose. How did you feel as you rejected your disbelief or overcame your fears? I feel grateful for my audience who do reach out to me and let me know that they love my content and my products and I'm very grateful for all of my customers and value them greatly. How did you act next month to achieve this success? I am going to speak to one person the same way that I would speak to a million people. A group of one million people is made up of a million individual people. So no matter how big my audience grows, I am only ever talking to one person at a time. I am also in a phase of being excited about growth and marketing. I am knee deep in strategy right now and I have been refreshing my knowledge of Facebook ads and I'm currently testing some ads and I'm also learning about other ways to reach people like doing live streams. What did you think, believe and feel next month? 
I value each person in my audience and talk to each person directly. I am grateful for the audience I have. I make a lot of money no matter what the size of my audience is. I am good at sharing my messages and show people how I can help them through my marketing. So these positive statements are your brain stamps and we will use these in a minute. So what growing goals are you focusing on for the next month? So name the disbelief, the struggle or the fear. Releasing dissatisfaction with the size of my audience. Section number five, write new brain stamps. So now what you're going to do is take your brain stamps that you've already written as part of overcoming your challenges and program them into your phone as reminders or write them on post-it notes and stick them somewhere that you will see them. This helps you to keep positive beliefs at the forefront of your mind and reprogram your subconscious mind. Section number six, plan promotions and launches. So now you're going to plan how are you going to make money next month? And this is very important. There is no point in setting gratitude goals about how much money you're going to make if you don't take action towards making money by actually offering something for sale. So what are you going to offer for sale next month? And even if you don't have a product to sell yet, you can always offer your expertise and knowledge in the form of coaching or consulting. So there is always a way to make money. Next month, I am launching my brand new Manifest Your Dream launch. So bear in mind that because I plan my content one month in advance, you have been seeing promotions for Manifest Your Dream launch this month. What was your offer priced at? So choose a price that fits your current confidence levels. And you can have a look at my price by going to kathkyle.com forward slash launch because I keep raising my price so there's no point in me committing my price to this content because it will have changed by the time you look at it. How confident are you that you can get results? If you're not confident at all because you've never sold your offer before, your price point should be zero. You need to start by finding beta testers who can use your offer and give you some testimonials. When you get results for your customers, it will give you the confidence to price your offer accordingly. You can then ask your beta testers what they would expect your program to be priced at and use that as a guide. Who did you sell your offer to? I am selling my offer to soul-led entrepreneurs and those people who have a purpose to transform lives, who are open-minded and in agreement that mindset is the key to business success. So where are these people hanging out? So these are the marketing channels that you are going to focus on. I focus a lot of my attention right now on my blog, podcast, Facebook ads, and email list. These are my favorite marketing channels right now and I'm putting all of my attention there. I'm also sharing my content on all of the marketing channels where my audience is hanging out. How often did you promote your offer and to which marketing channels? I usually do a monthly launch for the product that I'm promoting, but I also do share free content and opt-in freebies that lead to my offer all month long. So how many of your offers are you expecting to sell next month? Now set the dates of your promotions next month and put them in your calendar. I use Asana for my project management, so I add the dates in there. Section number seven is to write a stamp statement. A stamp statement is a statement that you read every day to keep yourself on track with your goals and I go into great detail showing you exactly how to do this in my stamp goals book but I will give you a couple of pointers here to get you started with a very brief stamp statement. So what you need to do is write down how much money you expect to make next month, what it is that you intend to create and how you intend to feel next month in a statement. Read this out loud every day to help to reprogram your subconscious mind to achieve your goals. And I share my own examples of this in my book and give you a template in my stamp workbook that is one of the book bonuses. Section number eight, create a stamp plan. This is at where you actually focus on achieving what you intend to achieve. You are going to make a specific plan for taking all actions necessary to achieve your goals. 
So the first thing you're going to do is schedule your fun. And if you know anything about me, the most important thing that matters to me is having a balanced life and something to look forward to. So the first thing you're going to do is schedule daily and other regular fun activities for next month in your calendar. And this helps if you feel abundant and relaxed. We're in the business of hustling less and manifesting more. And we do that from a place of having the exact lifestyle that we want. We schedule our fun first to send a powerful signal to ourselves that we are important and our happiness matters and we are worthy of anything we set our minds to. So what I do is I plan a daily walk or a run by myself and some time to read my books every single day and this gives me something to look forward to. And I also plan a walk with my family at the weekend and when we're able to, we schedule a fun day trip with extended family somewhere outdoors and scenic. The next thing you're going to do is hold yourself accountable for your actions by scheduling an accountability session with either an accountability partner, a coach or a mastermind group. And I also help to connect accountability partners for all customers of my Stamp Goals book in my customer only membership area. Next, what you're going to do is schedule success rituals for your 3G goals, for the three goals that you've already set. Success rituals are groups of tasks that you perform repeatedly. Here are some examples of my own success rituals. My morning routine, my evening routine, planning my monthly launch, writing my blog posts, recording podcasts, shooting videos, writing emails to my list, writing social media posts, writing sales pages, creating workshops and webinars, monthly stamp planning sessions, this is what we're doing right now, monthly stamp reflection sessions, business finance reporting day, and also creating new products. And I do all of these tasks at least once a month and many of them I do on a daily basis. And I have systems, lists, and routines for all of them so I know exactly what I'm doing and it becomes a success habit for me. So what success rituals will you carry out next month? Now you're going to create tons lists for your 3G goals. Tons stands for today's one next step and it means focusing on one task at a time until an entire project is done or they could be one-off tasks. Tons tasks are not usually repeating tasks as repeating tasks form part of your success rituals. So now that I have my business up and running, I don't have quite as many tons tasks as I used to, but examples of these might include creating your about me page on your website, setting up social media accounts, learning how to use new software such as video editing and creating a new welcome email series for your email list. Now what you're going to do is create a time stamp by adding your stamp six to your calendar and project management system for next month. So let me explain some of this terminology. A time stamp means to add success rituals and tons tasks to a particular time slot in your week. And stamp six means there are six essential tasks that you need to focus on during any time period. And these are gratitude goals, success rituals, gratitude goals, tons tasks, giving goals, success rituals, giving goals, tons tasks, growing goals, success rituals, growing goals, tons tasks. And I've included examples of all of these in my blog post. So a lot of these will be done every day by you or by a member of your team and growing goals can only be carried out by you. So you can delegate a lot of your gratitude and giving goal tasks to other people if you want to, but not your growing goals because that's personal to you and your belief system. Nine, perform monthly manifestation rituals. And this is my most fun part of the planning section because I just adore all of the magic that comes with manifestation. So now you're going to perform your favorite manifestation ritual to bring success to you next month. You can also use this time to plan a new manifestation ritual that you will start using during your morning or evening routine. And I do a lot of my manifestation rituals and a lot of them take place during my morning or evening routines. But things that I do during this time are starting a new abundance log to log down all of the money I'm manifesting on a daily basis. 
write a new manifestation list of the things that I want to manifest for the next month. Script the next month by writing down exactly how I want it to turn out. And if you want to get all of the tools that I currently use to manifest business success and get a walkthrough on how to use them all, you can get my business manifestation toolkit by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifestation toolkit. Number 10, create new future overviews. So now what we're going to do is plan an overview of our perfect day, perfect week, perfect month and perfect year. And this might take longer to do the very first time you do it, but you don't need to keep redoing this every single month. You might just want to make a couple of tweaks on a monthly basis. So the first thing you're going to do is create an outline of how you will use your time each day, week, month and year. Now you will use these perfect time outlines to create an actual overview of your next week and month. And as part of my book bonus bundle, I give you my perfect time outlines to help you plan your ideal week, month and year. Then you use your stamp overviews to plan your actual week, month and year. And I share all of my time stamps and perfect day outlines as examples in my book, but this is constantly changing depending on whether the kids are in or out of school due to lockdown, what the current coronavirus um, laws are at the moment. So generally I stick to the following perfect day outline. I get up at six o'clock between six and seven. I do my morning routine. Between 7 and 9, I do kids stuff and household stuff. Between 9 and 10, I do a workout, run, walk or weight training. Between 10 and 10.30, I do continuous coaching for my clients. Between 10.30 and 11.30, I do my success ritual creating content. Between 11.30 and 12.30, I have my breakfast, check my stats, check in with my team, check and tweak Facebook ads, help people in my members group, reply to emails, engage with my audience and do business admin. Between 12.30 and 2 o'clock, I do my success ritual creating courses. Between 2 o'clock and 2.30, I do a live stream. Between 2.30 and 5 o'clock, I pick up the kids and do household tasks. Between 6.30 to 8 o'clock, we go on a family walk or a trip to the beach, do household chores and kids clubs, etc. Between eight and nine, I do some reading. Between nine and 10, I wind down and do my evening routine. So also answer the following question. What are you committing to next month? If you don't commit to anything, you won't be able to grow. So committing to your business is absolutely essential. This gives you the mindset of success. And here is what I am committing to. Sharing two pieces of long form content each week in three different formats. One new blog post, one new video and one new podcast every Monday and every Friday each week. Creating one new course every month. Launching one new course next month. Experimenting with more live streams next month. Testing and tweaking Facebook ads all month. So we have now planned our entire month. Congratulations if you actually worked through this at the same time as me. Hopefully, you'll be feeling very organized, clear and confident about what you are going to achieve and how you are going to achieve your goals next month. And if you would like a numbered checklist and a workbook with all of these monthly planning tasks, you can get that free as part of the book bonus bundle that I give away to the customers of my Stamp Goals book. And the price of this book is so low compared to the massive value that you get. So I urge you to go and grab my book before I raise the prices and this free bundle won't be available forever. At the moment, I'm massively incentivizing buying my book, but in the future, I will take a lot of these bonuses out of the book bonus bundle and sell them separately. So this is your chance to get this super offer for a tiny investment. So I just wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever had a failed launch and been too put off to launch again? Or maybe you've never plucked up the courage to launch in the first place because it just seems too hard. And I have been there myself and had disastrous launch results where I was just too scared to launch again for a very, very long time. And then finally I woke up and thought, why don't I just decide exactly how I want my launch to go? And I decided I want it to be fun and easy. So I created a launch process that was fun and easy. And I created my system 
for launching with confidence and ease and put it into a new course called Manifest Your Dream Launch. And I take you through a 30 day journey from planning your dream launch, manifesting your results, launching with fun and ease, and then analyzing your results and planning your next launches. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash launch. And I would also love it if you would subscribe to my podcast, Manifest Business Success, and also subscribe to my email list where I am giving away my easy launch tech toolkit. And in this uh, tech toolkit, I'm showing you exactly which tools I use for launching every single month. And it's taken me a very long time to go through all of the current tools out there and find a collection that are the most effective, economical, and easy to use. So don't waste your time going through all of the tools and worrying about which tech solutions you should implement in your business because I've done all of the hard work for you. So you can go and find out all of the tech that I use in my business, in my easy launch tech toolkit which is part of my manifest your dream launch course so grab it now for free for a limited time by going to kathkyle.com forward slash launch toolkit and now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world